sniffing I've just got very hot um, carrying all my luggage down it's gonna be one of those days where actually it's not particularly cold I think it's gonna be 14 or 15 degrees um, but obviously it's forecast rain pretty much all day and uh, you can get cold pretty quickly in that so I had to bundle up a little bit this morning I'm not I really want to stop and start changing the layers in the rain so this is where I stayed last night interesting place actually pretty comfortable room very nice people first things first is fuel because I forgot about that last night so first available fuel stop and this is where I find out that none of the petrol stations are probably open in Austria on a Sunday I'm going to get wet, I know I'm going to get wet at some point, hopefully I can avoid it and if it gets to the stage where the weather is just too bad I'll just head straight for the hotel because there's not much point in trying to film scenic parts when you can't see anything my, my Garmin, I've got this nice little, I can click that button there put up ahead and I've already programmed it in so it was showing me a petrol station in less than 43 miles hopefully because that's all the range I've got 22 kilometers there is a shell garage it's just a lovely smell of uh, wood fires everywhere and I'm hoping because it's Sunday it's going to be nice and quiet on the roads there's a network of hotels which is set up for motorcyclists Johanna's the marketing manager at SW Motec told me all about this one particular hotel he phoned uh, Klaus who said yes he's got a room so I've been booked into that and it looks like a very nice hotel and they do all sorts of bits and pieces from there you can do uh, BMW test rides they run bike safaris and ski safaris out of there so they do organized trips they've got a garage so you can have your bike washed you can do maintenance and bits and pieces like that it sounds like a really cool idea so uh, we'll see what that is all about awesome vlog talking of wish I don't know what was in that burger yesterday but let's just say it had a cleansing effect Cool. My shell garage has now disappeared though. Uh, I've got a BFT, whatever that is. Is that a cool little place though? So journey's about four hours. If I use motorways I think I can knock it down to about two and a half. But my theory is I'm actually going to get much wetter on the motorways because of the spray. This is not particularly heavy rain at the moment. And as long as I'm moving, yeah, it's not too bad. I could obviously do with more coverage on this bike, which I don't have, but um, I feel like a lot of this uh, video is going to be about the weather it's just a shame this week just seems to have been particularly bad I mean it looks like it might be 20 degrees when I'm riding home on Wednesday um, but then the rest of that week all looks like sunshine and blue sky so if I had delayed the trip a week it could have been very different but Bitte? Now, whilst I'm here, do I want a sausage from the vending machine? No. Nothing's improved.
but I've put my chilled playlist on my music and uh, I just keep trudging along such a shame that we haven't got the sunshine to really appreciate this and it's that age-old problem in the rain when you get into places like this when you slow down you start to steam up but if you open the visor you start getting rain in the top and on the inside and that's a real pain in the bum isn't it everybody knows that feeling So as you can see, the weather has improved dramatically. It stopped raining, the roads are dry, and I'm heading further into the Tyrol. As you will already be aware, there are a few bits of gear that I'm trying out on this trip. I will do a review of these bits and pieces, kind of post the trip, just to let you know how I got on, because it'll be about 2,200 miles, and just over a week is a pretty good test in all sorts of conditions and uh, most of it seems to have worked pretty well I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed in the Halverson's Lushdahl gloves I've had Halverson's gloves in the past I had a pair for a long time which I absolutely loved they stopped making them this is kind of the replacement and they're a very comfortable glove they're pretty warm they're not a really thick glove which is what I like about them but I've proved on this trip that they are not waterproof they are to a point but uh, once you've done about an hour and a half in the rain they let it through and uh, for a period this morning I stopped at a petrol station and I actually put a pair of the plastic petrol station gloves on underneath these just to keep my hands dry sorry Halversons I love your stuff but they just haven't they just haven't done it I can only be honest Well, I made it, and um, as I've come to expect <laughs> this trip, the GoPro crapped out just before uh, I turned in to show you the route into the hotel. Um, yeah, it just the media mod with the mic plugged into it is fine unless the weather's less than perfect. Um, so I think I might switch to um, running with a separate audio recorder and just having the GoPro. I just don't think they seal that well in that. But here is the hotel that I'm staying at. Looks very nice. So I'm going to get in, get checked in, and then uh, maybe go and have an explore. So I've decided to have a bit of a chill out after that ride. Pretty wet and horrible. It's still raining here. Mm. That's the view. There's a pretty nice view from the panorama suite that I have. And I've been told that there is coffee and cake as well uh, being served downstairs before dinner, so it seems rude not to go and do that. That little shed there is where you can park your bikes, so mine's in there all tucked away nicely. And uh, yeah, let's go and have a look around. So there you go, that's the Hotel Indian. Very nice, looking forward to dinner tonight. I've already selected my dish. I have some pork with a mushroom sauce and gratin potatoes. And then down here is where the BMW demo center is and where the uh, bike parking is.
there's my little bike and understandably I'm heavily outnumbered by BMVs and then in here are the demo bikes Definitely not a day to be taking that out. R1250 RS, quite tempting. Quite like to have a go on one of those. That would have been a hell of a machine for this trip. Look at the size of this. And down in the basement, I found this weird little place. I'm not going to ask.